What if that nagging feeling in the back of your neck was real? What if those hands reaching out from the dark that you believed were there, were there? What if the monster in the basement really existed? And what if there was really something under the bed? Would you have the courage to face your fears? Hello, brave souls. I'm your host, Paul Rondeau, and tonight's story is called Cursed Plush. It was around Christmas time my grandmother passed away. My dad didn't tell me how she died. He claimed he didn't want to frighten me. On Christmas Day, while opening presents, my family was silent. Usually my grandmother was the life of the party. Opening gifts was a bittersweet moment. Afterwards, everyone just went to isolate themselves in their rooms. My grandmother was an important person in all of our family's lives. When I went up to my room, I shut the door and began to weep. At that moment, I remembered I had something my grandmother gave me when I was a child. I went to my closet looking through a few boxes and found it. It was a cute, round, reindeer plush doll she gave me many Christmases ago. I remembered spending hours with the tiny doll, just rolling it around and having fun with it. I looked deep in the plush's green eyes and I felt a tear roll down my cheek. I gently put the toy on my dresser to daily remind me of my loving grandmother. That night, I fell asleep and I saw my grandmother in a dream. She seemed distressed, but all she did was look down. I looked down too, only to see the same plush doll I had in my room lying on the floor. I was confused in the dream because my grandmother never looked up. She had her sight fixed on that plush doll. Then, before I knew it, she pulled out a knife, stuck it into her neck, and let out a terrifying screech. I awoke from that nightmare drenched in sweat and horrified. I took a moment to take a deep breath and calm myself down. I reached over my nightstand to get my iPod touch, hoping music would calm me down. The brightness of the screen overwhelmed me. While my eyes accustomed to it, I saw a slight movement from the corner of my right eye. I was shaken but I turned toward that direction. It was the plush doll right next to me. Not at all near my dresser where I left it. I stood still for about 20 seconds. I'm not crazy. And I know that doll moved on its own. I decided to just fall asleep and not make a sound. But in the middle of the night, I swear I heard the word being whispered in a ghastly voice. I awoke to see the plush doll in my dresser. This made me question if I even saw it right next to me the night before. Was I dreaming? No. I know it was real. But I tried to ignore this whole event because I didn't want it to ruin my Christmas break. Despite trying to forget about it, I had to tell my dad about what happened. He didn't believe me, thinking I must have just seen a shadow. I wanted to prove him wrong. So I took the damn thing and put it in my closet. I took a photo of my iPod Touch as proof that I left it in there. That night, I woke up to a sort of thudding sound downstairs. Something drew me to check out what it was. I turned to the hall light and saw something that haunts me to this day. The plush doll seemed to be rolling down the stairs on its own by some kind of force. How was it able to roll on its own? Could this be some sort of spirit haunting my grandma that drove her to commit suicide? Thinking I was going crazy, I ran to my closet to check to see where the plush was. It was chilling to see the plush doll not in the closet. I quickly took out my iPod to make sure I didn't leave it in the closet earlier that day. I couldn't believe what I saw in that photo. It was a picture of my closet with no reindeer plush inside. I felt my fear turn to rage. This plush toy is making me feel insane. 
I knew I couldn't allow this cursed thing to be in my home. So I ran with heavy steps down the stairs and snatched it while it was rolling. My mind was fixed on the fireplace. I felt the toy move in my hands, and then it uttered some sinister sounds. All the more reason I wanted to destroy it. I started a fire and heard evil laughing coming from inside the plush toy. I felt my body wanted to freeze from fear, but I didn't let that stop me from my goal. Fire roared as I flung the little creature into it. I heard more vile and distorted laughter as the plush toy burned. I found relief in this as it extinguished the fire. I went to bed and slept soundly except for one thing. I could have sworn I heard something rolling down the stairs. Thanks for listening. Come back next time for some more spooky stories. And as always, always remember to face your fears.